Hello everyone, I'm the Criminal Archer and welcome to Destination Ares. Destination Ares is a new game. Uh, it just came out in early access, I believe yesterday. Uh, so so pretty recent. It's still in very early access. There's a lot of uh, a lot of stuff missing, but um, but I think it's worth a look. It's it's a game in which you play the AI of a colonist ship that's traveling from Earth to Ares, some sort of place where new colony is starting. And you have to keep the ship uh, going, and uh, you have no direct control over the colonists, but you can ask them to do things, and they might do it, they might not do it. You know, we'll see how it goes. I've only played through the tutorial so far, so uh, um, so it should be interesting. There's also this build ship thing, which I have not looked at yet, but maybe we'll do take a look at that after we um, after we do a play through a game. There's also a, a indie or a indie. There's a demo version that it exists on the itch.io page which I'll link in the um, in the description of this video that you can go play if you want to check it out before you buy the early access title on Steam but let's uh, let's start a trip to Ares shall we choose a ship okay we'll take this guy begin welcome AI you are a spaceship what is your name Romulant Archer Welcome, Crumulin Archer. Wake up. A voice. Ho, newborn. You're the AI of our ship. We are refugees fleeing the atrocities of Terra for the wastelands of Ares. That doesn't sound great. Atrocities to wastelands? There are a couple of fledging colonists here on Ares, that is. Uh, there are a couple of fledging colonies there on Ares, that is. Get us to Ares, newborn. Our lives are in your hands. You begin to feel out your surroundings, as it were. There are little systems everywhere that you can interact with. You can access sensors, cameras, some show you the status of the refugees in the systems, others point out the ship, watching a vibrant blackness. It would seem your consciousness is tied to this vessel, your, percep your perceptive is limited to what you can in interface with. There's plenty to do and pay attention to for the time being. You spend your time studying a trove of knowledge embedded in your hardware. You practice reaching into your systems and sensors controlling them. In no time, you are a master. From what you've gathered, your vessel is a new spaceship built piecemeal from well-worn components. This will make its first and final flight. Even if you make it to Ares, the ship will be stripped for parts. The crew requires many of the systems and modules to land and survive on the new planet. They'll certainly require any remaining supplies. Be briefly wonder what that might mean for you. You're interrupted. Even so, it's not all on, all on you. We'll do what we can to help you out. Seems the crew, the refugees, have something to do, something to offer to help on this journey ahead. What is it? So we can do. I guess we get to choose here. We can do a high quality systems retrofit, or one of them is renowned in their craft, which has a chance. Let's let's go safe here and do a high quality systems retrofit this time. Their ship systems are decent at best, most aren't even that. As refugees coming by any spaceworthy ship system must have been prohibitively expensive. It seems your crew took extra care in acquiring some components though, make the most of it. Durable toilet, nice. Processor, reliable reactor, that's a good one. A steady stream of data channels into your sensors, you're being contacted by another being like yourself. It's a data dump on the history of Terra and the current state of affairs, it also serves as a message. Child, it's time for you to go, quickly. All right, so this is the interface. It's got kind of a little pixely style. You got your colonist here. This is Mal Stendhal. He, he's an engineer. He repairs systems. We got Kojo Dax, the medical officer. We have River Robinson, scientist. He uses manual systems. Will not automatically do work because they're affluent. <laughs> Doctor plus two science when healing the crew. And who's this? This is Aaron Fontaine scientists and then we've got lots of other things you got communications you've got the helm you've got r radar storage processor converts waste back into materials fabricator makes things toilet storage gym more storage reliable reactor produces energy and waste from materials Output when strain. Alright, so these are our engines. 
efficient injector, temporarily boost engines. The cost of air. <laughs> that doesn't seem to be so good. All right, so we're just gonna kind of get going and we'll figure this out as it goes along. These are our beds. Hydroponics, hydroponics. All right. So let's, the first thing we need to do here is use the, um, the helm so that we can get started. But as you can see, I can't actually make anybody do it. I just have to wait for them to decide they're gonna actually do the job I want. River is the one who did it for us. Good, good. Perfect course, slow. I'm actually gonna do this again because I would like us to go a little faster. I'll take care of helm ship. So you've got toggle, which turns things on and off. I go through these. Ignore, which prevents people from touching things. Emergency, gets people to use it real fast. Warning, wants them to fix it now, but it's a lower priority. Use is a manual thing, not everything has it, and overdrive makes things go faster. And so, alright, speed is fair now. Air quality is okay. Got food, got waste. So, to use this thing, I have to use it manually. Converts waste back into materials. Let's try using that. Wonder why that alert is on. I don't know, River, you tell me. So that guy just ate something. About friggin' time. Got some O2. Creates fuel from materials. Alright, so this is food, waste, energy, fuel, parts, materials. I actually want to would like to go a little bit faster. Ugh, I'm sorry I'm not myself, my regular self right now, criminal nurture. I'm just feeling a bit sleepy. Alright, are you hurt? No, you're just, you're literally just sleepy. I like the, uh, the Farscape references in Crichton there, and one of these people has the name Aaron. You can see we're on a perfect course right now. Uh-oh, got a message. Messages arise from home. Inform the crew, leave it be, or delete it. Um, so this triggers in a uh, crew will be good, stressed, or injured. <laughs> um, oh no, it requires me to have one crew member good, stressed, or injured. All right. So this is going to trigger a mini game, which is um, you have to kind of lead your guy through to the exit over here, um, and there are those little mines. You can see this red thing here. It blew up and I had to start over, and harder ones have more of them, and you have to try and get through before the timer ticks down. It's kind of weird. It's uh, It hasn't been too difficult so far, but I don't know. It might get harder later. The message contains new information about the route. Using it, you'll shave, ta shave some time off the trip. Nice. So I don't know what the wiggly is about. I mean, it's a nice effect, but I don't really understand why it's, why it's happening. I can also move around with the arrow keys. Let's use this. Convert a little bit of waste here. Create parts from, we don't need any parts right now. This thing needs repairs. Our parts cost materials instead of pair repairs, all right. All right, that guy doesn't think I could do a better job. Thanks. Alright, course brisk. Nothing seems to be broken right now. That's good. You can also speed time up if we want. As you can see, three times speed. Let's hold down the shift key. Everybody seems to be doing okay. He's stressed. I wonder what I do about that. Water pipes in the kitchen burst. The whole room is quickly becoming a giant ball of water. All we can do is turn off the wa water supply. We would need a scrubber for this, I guess. Alright, turn off the water. Water's now off. Now what? Convince your crew you installed the pool. Have someone put it, pull it to an airlock. Problem solved. Leave it be. Hmm. 
Um, let's do problem solved, why not? Over time, the massive ball of water drifted into a remote corner of the ship, pulled by a slight draft of swirling air. The crew have come to regard the blob as a curious pet. They'll play games involving it, regularly refer to it simply as Charlie. From now on, Char <laughs> For now, Charlie seems docile enough. Nice. It'd be nice if it was on the, on the ship somewhere. That would be a good touch. I'm going to use... There is no watermark, is there? No. Let's have them make some... Some parts from materials. Got lots of materials. I'll go a little faster here. Seems like we're gonna have to go faster a lot of the time, considering we're only at 13%. We've been going for a while. Oh, something is happening. Alright, this guy's stressed out. Bed's okay. Bed's okay. I feel like some, something went wrong, but I didn't catch what it was. Yeah, everything seems okay. Hmm. someone eat a whole cow so I can't tell them to function disabled why is this disabled there we go you're bored I don't think we can build anything I don't think that features in the game yet I assume there's gonna be a feature there anyway how are we doing on fuel? Got lots of fuel. Uh oh. Temperature control systems are glitching up. Heat is rapidly building around the, s the ship. Um, vent hot air into space to rapidly cool down. I'm gonna try this just because I haven't done a. I haven't done a hard one yet. Oh, that one wasn't so bad. Vent hot air into space rapidly cool down. The worst is over. Okay. Down to 18 air. It's not so good. I'm hungry. Go eat something then. This is working, right? There's no... Functional... Why is this disabled? All of these things are disabled, but I don't understand why. making stuff. 20% of the way there. So far, so good. Nobody's dead. You can zoom in pretty good. Surprisingly far, actually. I didn't expect to be able to zoom this far in when I first played the game. Can't zoom that far out, though. Gotta say. Oh, making some making some waste, if you know what I mean. Hey, don't go in there. He was using that. Something's wrong. The engine's malfunctioning, and it's more dramatic than you expect from the regular wear and tear around here. It breaks, then it breaks outright. Run diagnostics. <clears throat> was it sabotage? That couldn't be. Who would do something like that? One of your crew. Monitor them closely. Terran agent. Surely, probably not even on board. Gonna monitor them closely. Do you definitely have a saboteur? Kojo Jax isn't feeling well. Blood analysis show they were poisoned. Whoever did this is still on board and clearly willing to throw their own life away to achieve their goals. Hunt them down. The good news you found the traitor, the bad news you found them as they hit the airlock control, spaced. You watched as affluent River Robinson's blood boils and they scream silently. You assume this is what agony looks like. The saboteur, saboteur risked the entire expedition and then threw away their own life when you caught their trail. They did leave some plans left undone, though. A cache of bomb parts and materials discovered hidden behind a bulkhead panel. Those will be repurposed. 
No, oh, we're down a person. Gojo is unconscious. Can somebody deal with that? Are you helping Kojo or are you just doing the toilet? I can't really tell. I just arrived from home. Inform the crew. Alright. New information about the route. Save some time off the trip. Are you helping Kojo or no? I don't really know. Coach doesn't seem like she's in very good shape. Or he, I don't know. Where did he go? Did they die? Oh no, they just they were just on top of each other. Let me use that. Let's see if we can get a little more speed going here. Oops, what did you do? Broken. Repairs required. Are you repairing it? Looks like they're repairing it. Water pipes in the kitchen burst. Turn off the water supply. Have someone pull it to an airlock. Let's try this one instead. Stop. Stop running into that. There we go. Nothing barely nothing barely manages to do the job. All the same, you open the airlock, the crew watches solemnly as the water is unceremoniously sucked into the void, never to be seen again. So doing okay on most things here. Let's turn some waste into materials here. Disabled? Under increased strain, in output halved. Okay. Um, air is really low. Why is that? Where's my O2 things? Are you fixing it right now? Nope. Uh oh. I think everyone's gonna die. Everybody's unconscious. Are you guys dying? I think everyone's dying. Are you dead? Yeah, Aaron's dead. Mal is dead. <laughs> oh, I didn't notice that the, the uh, thing was dying here. Are you all, is everybody dead now? Oh, yep, they're all dead now. Dax suffocated, Fontaine suffocated, Sindal suffocated. Oh well. <laughs> We can check the memorial. There they are, all dead. <laughs> Alright, so let's look at the build the ship mode here. So you can do like this. Looks like. Nope. This is kind of cool. Build this big old spaceship. Door. I guess you need doors between the rooms. Or they're, they're one big room, I guess, if you don't have it. Systems. So then you've got, like, flight controls. And communications. And this, whatever this thing is. Reactor, engine. Put an engine back here, of course. So this is neat. I like this. This is kind of cool. Recycler, miscellaneous, which is what? Storage, battery, injector. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Ships resources, oh, you can like allocate starting resources. Neat. Crew, design the crew. Premium crew, fully customized crew for a price or random crew. Who are you, random crew? Jillian Robinson. Cannot be edited. Rolls aren't, yeah. 
Interesting. All right. Throw you in the trash, lady. Well, that's pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna exit back out here. All right, so this that's uh this is Destination Aries. Let me know what you think of it. If you think it's uh looks like it could use a few more episodes, I'd like to hear from you about it. Um, if you want to check it out, it's on Steam, in early access right now, and it also has a demo which is available on Geo, which the descript the link should be in the description. Um, I think it's got a lot of potential. And I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did, please leave me a like. Helps me out a great deal. And consider subscribing if you want to see more in the future. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks so much.